Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax Advisors, and today we're going to talk about a very popular topic, how to handle a multiple offer situation when you're a buyer. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you're buying a property here is to get fully pre-approved by a very good, reputable lender. I cannot stress enough how important this is. By getting fully pre-approved up front, a lot of these lenders can actually put you through underwriting, which will actually allow you to present your offer basically as good as cash because they've already seen all your documents, they've already gone through everything, and they've seen what potential issues on your specific credit report or income statement, things like that, that might arise, and they've already handled those. So you can write an offer with a 15-day close basically as good as cash. Now, obviously, no one's going to want to move in 15 days, but that definitely makes your offer stand out when you're writing basically a cash offer. So it's very important, like I said, first to get approved by a very good, reputable lender, and we do have re very good recommendations for you. That brings me to my next point, is reducing the amount of contingencies in your offer. Uh, you're going to want to try to shorten the inspection period to as short as possible. Typically, in our market, we're seeing an, about 7 to 10 days as average, and the way the contract is worded, there's really no risk to you as the buyer. You can back out during your inspection period for any reason if you're not comfortable with, with the condition of the property or anything like that. So definitely shorten that to you know five to seven days uh, if you really want to make your offer stand out. Most good inspectors can get availability within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, so it's really going to make your offer stand out to have a shorter inspection period as well. Number three, the next thing you're going to want to work on is making sure you're working with an agent who has handled the situation before. We at the Mandel team, we sell about 70 homes a year right here in the Coral Springs, North Broward County area. So we are experts in this situation. We're seeing these multiple offers all the time. We've handled them. We have very good relationships with a lot of the top producing realtors around town. And it does enable us to get our offers accepted over the competition because people know that when my clients write offers on properties, we close on them, but we're, we're serious buyers and we know what we're doing. So that definitely helps. And number four, the last thing you can do is you can make your offer personal. Make it stand out with maybe a picture of your family or a personal story telling the seller about your family and you know why it is that you fell in love with this house. What is it that you love? If you can make it you know an emotional kind of thing, the seller can sometimes say, okay, maybe you're not the best offer, but... We, you know, we were in the same situation as you. We were a young family when we bought this property, and we prefer to sell it to someone similar. So you might have a good, uh, a good connection with a seller like that. And doing something along those lines definitely helps get your offer accepted. So that's really it. Those are our tips to get your offer to stand out and to get accepted in a multiple offer situation. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via our website, phone, text, email, whatever you prefer. We're happy to help, and we look forward to speaking with you.